This is the future. Before we start this video, I just want to announce that finally, I had given the Hildrin Prime Access giveaway. It took so long because I was on leave at work due to I had to recuperate from a motorcycle accident. So you all know that now work means no pay. Somehow, my boss decided to get me some early compensation plus extra, which I got the money to finally give away the Hildrun Prime Access. I'm really happy now that I finally got that giveaway done and I hope that the winner enjoyed his prize right now. Also, the Platinum giveaway yesterday ended, and the winner already has his prize. I am also happy with this because Digital Extremes given this giveaway yesterday, and I only got a couple of hours to give it away to my community. But luckily, I had given the prize in time and the winner is happy with the Platinum. So now, to start the Colervo update, which will be in a few hours, I would like to throw another giveaway. The prize is 3000 Platinum and you can get a chance to win this by simply subscribing to our channel. Of course. How would you know that you have won if you don't subscribe and ring the notification bell? And also, like this video and just answer the question below on what Warframe are you using right now, and why. Do take note that I will pick the winner for this giveaway in the comment section down below, and like always, I will pin the comment of the winner. Take note that this is open to all platforms and another important thing that you should do is to include your in-game name and platform you are playing. If I pick someone that is on PC, then I can easily distribute the prize but for those who aren't, then don't worry as several winners on my giveaways don't play in PC anyway and I have given them their prizes through PayPal so they can purchase the platinum that they won. Take note that I'll be announcing the winner this weekend so hurry and good luck to all of you. For now, let's dig into the video, and that is Korra. Despite players saying that Necros is the best farming Warframe, I still have doubts in myself whether or not I would agree to that statement because Korra still exists, and by far, this Warframe is the most chill farming Warframe in the game. All you need to do is drop her strangled dome, and then kill enemies with Whip Claw. That's another good thing about this Warframe, is that with only using abilities, you are able to farm with Korra without any setup needed like a specific weapon or a specific synergy to take full advantage of this farming Warframe. But squad leader, you need a good stat stick to deal massive damage with her whip claw. Well, that's not the case as ordinary popular, or most used mods are the ones you only need. Take note that Whipclaw can take advantage of the combo counter system in the game, which means mods like Blood Rush and Weeping Wounds does work well with Whipclaw. Even the Gladiator mods also stack to increase the critical chance of your build per combo count and the best part is, it's really easy to build it. You see, the impact, puncture and slash damage of Whipclaw are evenly distributed but, this can get affected with mods. Just for example, if you will give more slash damage through buzzkill, then Slash will be the one that will proc more often. And when you put Weeping Wounds in your build, the more prominent the Slash and Bleed procs of the Whipclaw ability, hence giving you insane damage per hit at max combo count, and that's enough so you won't use any stats stick with insane Riven God roll stats. Because you know, sometimes these kind of Rivens are so expensive. Another good thing is that Whipclaw has received a nerf during the Steel Essence Bonanza farming, but then Digital Extremes decided to revert the changes. Well, not exactly revert into the original form but at least now, the ability can hit multiple enemies at once, allowing for maximum kill speed and farming. It's really fun and easy to play with Korra while farming as you just chill in one place, drop your strangled omen then hit enemies with your whip claw. The best part is, there's a build right now that takes care of the energy consumption of the Warframe, and you don't have to worry about not having enough energy to spam your abilities. Presenting. The old but still good Korra with Dispensary. My very old Korra build that is still very reliable until now. The thing about Dispensary is it still works pretty well with Equilibrium and the Synth Fiber mod. When you have Synth Fiber in your Venari, you can pick up health orbs that drops from the enemies you killed, or from Dispensary. Then Equilibrium converts them to energy and vice versa. Since the introduction of the Helminth system, I have never changed my Korra build and enjoyed the benefit of easy farming. All I added in this build is a bit the combat discipline and arcane avenger trick to gain more ed crit, and then added the mole tree construct so I regenerate health per cast of any of my abilities to counter the loss of health coming from combat discipline. That's it. Another thing that you should do is always bring the smeter cavat if you are farming with Korra. 
This Warframe's Pilfering Strangle Dome is a Warframe Augment mod for Korra that allows enemies caught in Strangle Dome to have a chance to drop additional loot when killed, which is a good thing because the only requirement is enemies are caught meaning or those who are affected and not killed. It's easier to proc the bonus loot and if you have Smita Kavat, you have a chance to gain more additional loot bonus through its resource drop boost. Take note that Pilfering Strangle Dome doesn't work with Acolyte's Steel Essence, but Smita Kavat's Charm Buff does. Hence giving you double steel essence gain or tripled if you have resource booster bought from the market. Because of these features, Korra has remained as the top gal when it comes to farming to many Warframe players instead of Necros. Now, I know that some of you will say Necros is better, and I would like to know your opinion also, but so far, I find Korra's chill farming more enjoyable compared to Necros but, that's just my opinion though and of course, there are instances wherein Necros is so much better to give you an example, Farming the isolation vault as necros does affect the drop of the corn bot parts which Cora's pilfering strangle dome don't. So, aside from the fact that this topic is subjective, it also depends on the things you are farming. I would also love to know your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching. Squad leader signing off.